Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Israel Adesanya and John Jones. So here he is, the consensus greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Bones. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84-inch reach. Certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. Well, it took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of need because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Castle, it was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to beat and stay atop your division for a long time. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Jones is two years the elder. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look-see-do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel 
Adesanya, he's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Oh, and there's the man. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Liver kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. And they separate. Single collar tie now. That knee might have landed there. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Oh, a little single collar tie there. John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Round two next. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, both fighters now ready to go with round two. Israel out of sight. And, of course, the future UFC Hall of Famer, the all-time great, John Jones. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh! 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 Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 35 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit. 39% now on the connections against John Jones. Got clipped with the right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Body shot there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, yes. if you're going to... Whoa! That's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, straight right. Just misses with the left hook. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai drop. And they set him. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, that 
one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Jones. Now under a minute to go in the second round. Nice head kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch when you find yourself... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! What a performance! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout, John Jones! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.